Hello guys, it's from back here, and we are jumping back into some Slay the Spire. So last time we played as the Ironclad, and we got a win. First win of the series, this time we are jumping into the Silent. Uh, 70 and 99, HP and gold respectively. And then we start with the Ring of the Snake. At the start of combat, draw two additional cards. So, a little bit of a bonus, Niao's bonus. Let's see. Swap. Or a random boss relic could be good. Choose a card. I think actually this is the best out of them. Oh, we will probably die. I don't play this game enough. Runic Dome. Gain one energy at the start of each turn. I can no longer see enemies' intent. That means I have no idea what they're planning to do to me. See? There's no, no little icons. And sorry to inform you, I'm not good enough at this game yet to uh, know what I'm doing. So, for not seeing enemies intent, the way you want to play it is, uh, you just always want to make sure you defend. That's kind of how I, I see it. I can't tell what they're doing, but I always can make sure I'm doing everything. I'm not very optimistic here, so we're going to start with a defense. Maybe build a little bit of a defensive based deck. Upgrade two ram cards. Yes. Not two good ones, but cards nonetheless. Um, I'll take the money. I don't know what we'll do with it. But there's probably a shop right up there. We can remove that. Go into here. Trigger trap. Lose five make magic P. We'll get the golden idol. Gives us 25% more gold. Should be pretty nice. Oh, little shop. You know what we're going to do? Remove doubt, I think. I also think I'll take a panacho. Could be good. Matroshka could be good also. Two relics from the chest. I don't think we have enough to support this yet. I think we'll take this first. I would have loved to remove that weakness, but it's fine. I think nothing else here. It's tickling my fancy. Fruit juice could have been good also. Five max HP. But I think this will be good. Since we're going to cut up here and hit this chest first. Be a, a good, good time. We're going to be playing this a little more defensively, maybe not as much elite hunting. Silent's a little harder to uh, to get behind than the Ironclad. More strategic based, I would say. Uh, we will get rid of the defend and lose the strike. Hopefully not take too much damage. Ow. Because the Silent does not have the same amount of diversity, uh, the same amount of damage as the Ironclad. The po she this the silent does a lot more stuff with poisoned and such. So straight up raw punch power is not the same or equivalent. Nonetheless, continue. Uh, I think getting a little bit of draw, maybe stick it back to neutralize would be good. Go back to that. We're gonna avoid combats as I can. Um, heal. We get max AP. Another. I'll take another curse. Vulnerability will be really good. Very, very good. Dream catcher. Whenever I rest, I can add a card. Letter opener. We've seen this last time. Every three skills, you deal five damage to all enemies. Trying to really stockpile on relics while I can. So regret is a curse. Um, it's unplayable, and at the end of your turns, you lose HP equal to the number of cards in your hand. We had one curse last time in the form of Rise, which just eats up your opening hand. Took one damage from that. We're just going to hit him and see if we can kill him this turn. So close. Neutralize? Nope, we can drop that. Oh, but it's, oh, he didn't attack. Nice. So that means we can just kill him. Um, Sneaky Strike could be good. Deal 10 damage, and if I've discarded a card, I gain 2 energy. I think we will try that. Maybe some kind of a, a discard build, as it would, could be called. Draw four cards, and this, or 14. I think we want the damage. Just the raw punch power. Alright. So we're going to do... Maybe double this up. See what we get. Maybe another one of these. Try to keep it 50-50. Since we can't tell what they're going to do. We're going to draw, because I bet we'll draw... Ow! Or we can draw both curses. I was hoping to draw 
the sneaky strike. So when we discard it, we could have uh, got the free energy from it. Plan it. We're going to defend both times, mostly because we can kill there. And also because we would, we get the vulnerability from these guys. So the goal was to uh, defend and not uh, deal the damage, but we killed them anyway. So it doesn't matter. Terror does 99 vulnerable. And Blur, you get to hold over block. I think we'll take this. Just because we want to be more defensive, uh, since we can't see the enemy's intent. So I think they'll be good. Another regret for tons of gold. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, doing it. We got a lot, of, a lot of curses, which is not very appetizing. However, uh, that gold we can use, start use to remove it. Um, and so far, with the amount of discard we have, we just want to play uh, skills. We're just getting rid of them really quickly. So I think if we keep up with the discard, like meadow we're going with, we should be fine to take curses like that. Uh, again, we can block really good. Uh, I was also thinking dagger spray, which is a multi-attack AOE. And then yeah, easy first. Like first floor's gone really well. Um, only problem with this draw is we're drawing. We could end up drawing more curses. So I'd rather get some more block. So that does three more block. Three block in another week. So we will go with Lake Sweep. Try to keep this defensive S going. So this is the slime boss. Um, he will split when he hits 50% HP and the two smaller slimes. Uh, his kind of thing, I think he does a debuff, then a pause to charge, and then a big attack. So the goal is going to be to freaking lay into him. Oh, we did not do that. It didn't matter. Um, to lay into him with attacks. And to keep that weakness going. Yeah, three slimes, charge up for a big attack. So, I would have liked to get him down to uh, below 70 would have been the goal. Alright, acrobatics. Drop the regret. Backflip. Dang it. The goal would have been to get more defend than what we just got. Alright. So 18, I bet it will do a lot more than that. So we took 8. So he did, what, 26? Uh, let's keep extending this vulnerability. Get the slime out. Punch him again. Keep it going. Good spray. He, he just repeats the same three things. Acrobatics. Drop that. Sneaky strike. We discarded, so we got two back. Um, we got three... He's close, very close. This, this, this. The goal is going to be to split him next turn. He's at 73, so we want to hit him as hard as we can. Which, of course, back look first. Dang it. It's not going to be a very good split. So 57, he'll turn into 2 with 57. Which is not really what I would have wanted. I'd rather have gotten him a little lower than that. Lick and punch. Alright. Blur, defend, strike, slime out. Bet this term will hurt a lot. We could have, I, I thought it might, uh, use the attack potion, which we probably should have, to do more damage to the original slime boss. Instead of, uh, not realizing you had it. I'm not realizing I had it, as it would be. Down to 18. Okay. Acrobatics. Guess we'll drop slime. No reason to keep it. I want to kill this one. And then gain six blocks. Alright. Hopefully. Split. Ooh. Okay. I think we'll go ahead and use this maybe for an AoE if we can. Die, die, die is a good one. We are weak, which is not that nice. But that's a lot of damage across. Then acrobatics. Drop the doubt. Use this. Get it back. And then... I think we go for... Yeah. Something like that. He's close to dead. Ouch. 11. Dead. Without being able to see intense, it's hard to play. Since I don't play enough. 
90 score, we will repeat and go back into it. Try one more time with him. So since we didn't win, I don't think... Oh no, we still got a bunch of options. Thought we'd get less. I think we'll obtain a random rare card. Phantasmal Killer. After you play it, next turn you do double damage. So maybe this should be a high damage-ish build. Thinking two question marks go up maybe an elite or we can veer off. Should be pretty good. Alright. Kaboosh. Then we want to survive I think. Drop a defend. We'll neutralize this one. And we'll defend again. No reason to take damage. Play a little closer to the cuff. I think we can kill this one. And hit this one. So whatever we draw next turn, hopefully we can kill this or block it. There we go. Okay. We're looking for damage. Flying knee could be really good for us. Leg sweep's also really good though. I think first we need some damage. I don't think we can turn it down. Got the golden idol again. More gold. Uh, I think we'll gain more gold. Yeah. This would be good if we can ever find a shop. Neutralize, survivor, drop that. Okay. Try to play pretty quick. So, because these videos will take a real long time if you don't. Especially if you get all the way up to Act 3. Punch, punch, survive, drop. And then that one. So we can do a total of 12. That'll kill them. Wanted to double check before I committed. Calculated Gamble is really good. Uh, discard your whole hand and draw a new one. When you upgrade it, it does not exhaust. So it could be a good way to cycle through your deck really quickly. Crippling Cloud, 4 Poison, 2 Weak. Could be a good one. Between these two. Uh, I think we'll go with this one just for the weakness, honestly. Especially since we have to fight this leap. After Image. It's actually one of my favorites. Uh, whenever we play a card game, one block. Really good. I think I might take that. Maybe along with... Flashes. Well, we'll take that first. Yeah. Then, can't take Flash of Steel. Maybe Poison? Prepare could just be good. You just draw a card. It's one free block with After Image. I can try it. A weird one so we could heal i think we're good enough to take the elite that we can like go through this path yeah this would be good neutralize strike prepared uh drop the defend survivor oh drop that one and then we're gonna fly so the goal is i want to get some of the artifacts off before I dropped the crippling cloud. Okay, this is good. This is good. And this is good. So next time we're gonna really try to lay into this front line. Kind of a little bit of a prep round. Yeah. Double damage. So boom. 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 Even though we only gained three block, we took out the front one. Double damage is really good for that round. This is not very good. Um, we can only play, well, we can play both of them, so I might as well. So they still get the weekend. They lose the poison. That's good to know. I wish I would have done that before. I thought I would do it. I couldn't remember what way it did it. So, I thought I would drop the poison first, probably. But I think we're good. We're on the, we're on the upward slope of this fight. We are drawing a lot of hit now. Okay, I need some damage maybe. Flying knee. This and this. So close, one more card. Alright. You're dead. Block. So do you Phantasm kill or do you strike? I think we'll do this in lieu of trying to kill him next turn. Or you could draw nothing and make bad attack on killer worthless. 
Those days, man, are pretty rough. Every turn I'm putting two of them in there. And we'll drop this. Get the freaking days out of the deck. Alright. Seriously? Is that necessary? Good lord. I understand they trashed it, but... Yeah, this is what you want. Bam. Double damage. Dream Catcher again. When I rest, I can get a card. And I think you get Noxious. Uh, it puts one poison on everyone. Start my turn. It's power. Remove a card. Yes. Strike gone. And then shop. I don't remember why we were coming to the shop. I think we spent our money earlier. Let's see. Seems like we're going more for our poison build, so I think we'll continue and remove another strike. Alright, I don't think we'll go for this elite. I think we should actually go this way. Try to avoid it, Matroska. So next two boss next two chests, non-boss chests, give us an additional relic. Whew, this is a hard one. I think we'll smith, and then next turn we will uh Next time we'll pop the regen potion. Then we better. Does this make this one cost? It does. I think after image I would prefer it more though. Innate means that you start with it in your opening hand. I hate that this is a fight though. I was really hoping to uh, be almost anything else. Take no damage this first time. Just a little bit of a setup. All right, noxious. Survivor, drop the defend, then we get a punch out. Alright, so now every turn they're gonna get. Is it one or two? Two stacks of poison. Crippling cat up. Get that one. We can kill him. And then we're prepared. Just for the extra block. Uh, survivor, out the slime. And we'll just punch him. I don't think we need Phantasmal Killer next turn. Yeah. One punch, you're dead. So poison's good over a longer fight. Not as much a shorter fight. Rule with holes, I think will be good with uh, Phantasmal Killer. Three damage five times. It's really good in a strength-based build. But I think it also will double with Phantasmal. So after image, I don't think you crippling cloud. I think you will drop crippling cloud. I think it's too expensive this turn. Survivor, drop that. We're trying to take no damage. This, this, and this. Oh, by the way. All right. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Uh, what this phantasm one flying knee? Next turn we'll have double damage and the extra energy. So I'll be surprised if we can't do something good. Terrible. Rightfully terrible. You're dead. Play out the slime. We should play the defend. Would have made a lot more sense. Don't know why I was dumb and did not do that. I don't know why we haven't popped the regen potions. Okay. Oh, you're gonna open with 16 damage. How lovely. Um, we will drink. Or we won't drink, we'll discard because we uh, are bad at video games. Okay. Yes, neutralize. Riddle with holes. Flying me. Get him really close to dying. You wanna, regen potion gives you health at each of your turn, so it went from five Four, three, two, one. Every time. Goes down a little bit. Survivor. I think we'll survive for Phantasmal. I don't think we're going to try to hit him. I think we're just going to try to block. We will hit him. Shouldn't have done it that order. Another bad move. Now we have two thirty ones. So. Um, I think. Noxious. How much will you do? 15 damage? It's actually pretty good. Then we'll play the slime. We'll at least get the most of our, out of our regen. I think the goal will be to 
kill the rest of them if I can. Yeah. He's dead. Energy next turn will hit him pretty hard. Flying me. Neutralize. Defend. I like that uh, Aphromage is not affected by Frailty. Which I feel like is something we get a lot. Makes it pretty easy to uh, gain an insane amount of luck. Another after image. Pretty sweet. Okay, so find loot, 25% of monster returns. Got the loot. Thief. <laughs> First egg, uh, when you get a power, it automatically comes into your deck upgraded. Or definitely resting. Uh, dagger spray is good. Definitely good. So, Hexajost. Such a good setup turn. I dislike that we got our weakness this turn. Can we pull out anything good now? Uh, yeah. So I want to do this and this. Set up. So this turn he's going to do like a, a 30 damage. And we have barely any block. I'm not going to play Phantasm. We're going to just really get as much block as we can. So 26, not bad. He does damage based on how much uh, health he come into us. I should have looked. We might not have, should have rested. Might have been a little better for us. But it's what makes you the difference between a really good player and a casual player is you uh, notice this thing way more often. You also don't throw away your freaking regen potion. Not salty. This one, and this one. So he put uh, curses, in our statuses in our deck burns. Then I turn and deals two damage to me. Which sucks, but it's fine. Prepared, uh, drop the defend. Do we crippling? I think we'll crippling cloud. And dagger spray. Just get that, that, you know, poison incremented up a little bit more. Because every time we're putting two, but why not put more? Definitely phantasmal. And definitely survivor. That way we get the perfect amount of block. Well, a little over the perfect amount. And we don't have to deal with his block. So this turn, yeah. 30 damage riddle with holes. Good, good dagger spray. I hate that we drew our, fl our flying knee, but... So yeah. This double after image is pretty swanky. Oh, we shouldn't have uh, done that. We should have uh, gained some more block. Okay, so you put the super burns in our deck. He up, I think he upgrades all the burns the way it's portrayed. No, no, no. They deal four damage now. Very swell. But I think we got this. We need to do 60 more. I think we are on top of this. For those who, uh, can't see my camera because there isn't one. Uh, went to drink some water and uh, poured it right onto my sweet sweet face instead of hitting my mouth. Oh, that sucks. Oh, he's gonna die to freaking poison. That's nice. I thought we were gonna have to wait another turn. Burst skills are played twice. Bullet time. You cannot draw any more cards, but everything in your hand reduces to zero. Till the trade. Draw an additional card and discard one at the start of the turn. I think we'll go for that. I'm liking all these powers. Um, remove two cards from my deck. Discard two cards at the start of the turn. That could be actually not bad. If we could get some more draw on the deck. We'll try that. Get maybe a discard meta go. There's a lot of good discard cards in the silent. Um, so I'm thinking if we could get a hold of some of those... It would be pretty swell. So Phantasmal and Defend. After Image, Survivor, drop the Dagger Spray. Crippling Cloud. Get that weakness and that early poison so we can just ignore his plated armor pretty much. Discard those two. Pull the trades. Now, this was not good use of energy because we didn't use all of our energy. Um. So I'm, I'm really feeling the uh, negatives of this relic. Let's 
Comfort Strike. Because it is not feeling very good to me right now. I was not expecting it to be that bad, but uh, it's not good. Okay. Should have just done that after image first. Because we're having a hard time now drawing into damage. So, discard these two. Draw a card. He's dealing 18. I'll discard the basic strike. Neutralize. Dagger spray. So now that we have both the after images, we are gaining a lot of block. So now we just got to fail, figure out a way to, uh, you know, deal damage. Drop the prepared. So, in lieu of that, I want to deal a lot of damage this turn. It looks like I don't even really need that much block to, uh, really hurt this hurt this dude. So I think, yeah, in lieu of that, we're gonna take damage. So neutralize, dagger spray, flying knee. And see, six six block, we almost got enough. It looks like he also, I didn't realize he heals every time. And then Finn has one killer, gone. All right, so next turn he should be dead. So that's one thing. We either need to find stuff that works with this card, or we need to add just more damage to the deck in general. More draw, preferably, actually. Yeah, I like this. This will be good. A little bit of draw. Add one of 20. This will be good for us, too. Ac I'm thinking acrobatics. Sneaky strike, though. It's kind of, what we're, kind of the kind of stuff we're looking for right there. We'll go with the sneaky strike. Because we're discarding every turn, so it's always active. Vajra. Add one strength. 23 gold. Boot. If I deal four or less damage, increase it to five. Pretty good. So we're going to have to go after elite. So I think we'll go question mark, then elite. Yeah. Thought we were up one more. We weren't. Two cards to discard. This one. This one. I think we, I'd rather have some of the defend. After image, Crippling and Clap, Crip and Clap. So he's doing six damage, we will gain that much. All right, nice. So I don't think I'm gonna play Tools of the Trade yet. Well, it's a zero cost, but I'm just gonna have to just, eh. I don't even need the defend, so why am I even questioning this? So Tools of the Trade, Dagger Spray. I mean, I guess I could have done a little bit more. Oh, that really helped that. That uh, multi-attacker do. I guess I could have, you know, kept neutralized to do a little bit more damage. Actually, I think those two. Garbajo. So, sneaky strike. Awesome. So, I think we need to upgrade that other after image. I don't feel like we're doing a lot without it. And then, yeah. Uh, Noxious. After image. Dagger throw, draw and discard. We'll discard the base. Block right there. So this dude's gonna be really annoying if we can't get some damage up on him. Also, we're not gonna do any damage if we keep drawing dazes. So we're gonna eat 15 damage right here. But if we would've played skills, we would've took more damage. Draw a card. Yes. Drop that. It doesn't really matter. We're going to kill him now. Alright. So I think that was a good decision. The cards we've added. No more prepared. Well, two cards. Discard. No. No more prepared. We just need raw damage. Added to the deck. Uh, I will buy three potions. Regen. Swift potion. Those are really good. Fill up our hand when we've ran out of cards and still have tons of energy. Health, strength is good to have. All right, you could be a nightmare. Especially with our weird discard nonsense we got going on. Neutralize, flying knee. You're not poison, so how am I supposed to, what we should play the out? Okay. Not really a fan, but Think, yeah, because he's going to hit us now. Oh, he's going to hit us so hard. Oh, I don't know what to drop. 
a weird, a weird play right there. I think I can almost kill you with this. I think I'll do this here. Then I think this will happen. Cause I want to kill that. Kills him too. Not a lot of block was played, which hurt. Ouchers. Don't want that. This one. That. Dang. Okay. Not too bad yet. Oh, kind of bad. Yeah, this relic has hurt us way more than it's helped us. Because, like, while I can do this, and it's great, uh, yeah, it has also been our demise. Ah. Uh. All right, yeah, that was a bad move. Another 181. Slowly trailing. Well, that is going to do it for that now. Two losses. We'll come back in with a defect next time. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.